All right, guys, welcome aboard. It's been a while since I have flown the uh, Flight Factor 757, so uh, I thought I'd do a little refresher flight here. Uh, we're going to be starting out in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, going to head for LAX. Nice short flight just to get me uh, re-familiarized with uh, this uh, Flight Factor 757. So we're sitting on the, uh, the Air National Guard ramp. I like to start over here if I'm not going to be doing an official sort of airline flight. Let's jump in the cockpit and get, uh, get everything fired up. So first off, we're going to go ahead and technically load the plane with uh, fuel and everything like that. So you can see I've got all our stuff, you know, all the trucks and everything out there, including the bus, which sits pretty low. And we've got the doors opened up, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and just load. 30,000 pounds of fuel should be perfect. Passengers, we're actually only going to do, we'll do three. Three passengers. There you go. And they're all going to be, uh, let's see, optimize. <laughs> there we go. They're all going to be sitting in the back here. Let's go ahead and uh, start the loading process here. And once that is completed, we'll uh, close everything up and get fired up. Uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and get started up here. So we'll go, uh, actually, we're going to put our battery on here. Again, I'm getting familiarized again in here. It's been a little while since I've been on here. I guess we can leave that at auto. There's our fuels coming up. We'll go to our ground power. Sounds like we're loaded. Our three passengers making a racket have gotten on the plane. We'll get everything powered up over here. And get our IRSs aligned. Emergency lighting, we can close that. All right, looks like our fuel is all done. We'll go ahead and hit our uh, red uh, light and our nav lights. Let's bring this up and get everything uh, closed up. Take a look. Let me take a look at my sound settings here really quick. Uh, okay, I think they're good. We'll see what it sounds like uh, when we actually get uh, everything fired up. Uh, what was I going to do? I'm going to close everything up. So. Uh, we get this. We're going to close all. There we go. Ground. We're going to get rid of our chocks. We'll get rid of the fuel truck. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Passenger bus and stairs. We'll leave the uh, GPU there uh, until, until we get our uh, APU fired up so we can still have our ground power. Alright, so let's jump in here and get ourselves uh, set up. So grab our la or we'll grab our GPS position, drop that in there. Hit my little cheat right here where you can uh, punch in using the keyboard. So we're at Phoenix. Put that in there. Let me just clear that out. KPHX. There we go. In there. All right, route Phoenix, and we're going to be going to LAX. We'll activate that. Uh, we'll hold off on performance. Let's take a look at our departure out of here. We're going to be departing uh, two five left, and let's see what we got for departures here. Judith five, I think, is what will work for us. We'll leave the transition off, come back here, hit index, and then uh, come over to our arrival. Let's select our arrival. We are landing 25 left in uh, LA, and we'll do the RNAV, see how that works out. 25 left RNAV Y. Uh, as far as arrivals, let's see, I don't know. I'm not familiar flying into uh, LAX all that much. I usually fly into San Diego or uh, Santa Ana, John Wayne Airport in Orange County. We'll just try this one here. 
Uh, 29 palms, yeah, I think, I think we go by 29 palms. Let's just leave that. We'll leave all this off. Take a look at the route here. So let's take a look at our, well, actually, we'll look at the legs first. See what we got for discontinuities here. Uh, all right, so far so good. Gila Ben, Judith, 29 palms, perfect. And and then come down this way. And we got a vector. I know some of these are a little hokey here, I think, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna get rid of the vector altogether. And I think I'm gonna delete a couple of these uh, intermediate points here. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it looks on the uh, on the plan here. So uh, we go over to plan view here. And uh, let's zoom out just a tiny bit so we can take a look at our uh, plan here. Okay, so starting out, uh, we're taking off and going up to 1640. We'll step through. Let me go to Davis, Vans, Clubs, Gila Bend, Judith. 29 palms. I guess I can get rid of 29 palms, maybe. We're kind of doing a little roundabout here. And then uh, arrival here. Turtle. Cactus. Yeah, see, here's where this little weirdness comes in here. I'm not sure why. I saw that uh, when I was kind of playing around with this before. So Bassett. And then where does it have us going next? Bassett to Downey to Reader and then it's got us going back to Gate then to Hondo then to Lima alright so Lima's we're going to get rid of these right here so we're going to go that that Execute. Let's see if that clears some of this up here. Looks like a little bit more here. Let's get rid of that one. Execute that. All right, let's step through that again. So we take off Gila Ben Judith. I don't think we want the Judith in there. So we're just going to go 29 palms to Judith. Execute that. A little bit more of a direct route here. So Downey. Uh, that, that that another little one there well actually that's it then all right so that looks good so we kind of got rid of some of the weirdness right there let's, uh, let's just see how how this looks davis i guess we can get rid of gila bend right let's get rid of gila bend we'll go right to 29 palms so we want to go 29 palms Get rid of Gila Bend altogether. Replace that. There we go. Now let's step through it. Again, kind of a funky... Uh, probably get rid of that one too. What the heck? <laughs> this is a shakedown flight, so... You know, we're... Uh, we're just kind of messing with our own little... Uh, flight plan here. Alright. Yep, that's to hold. Alright, there we go. So let's get rid of vans. We'll also get rid of vans. We'll go right to 29 palms. Right to there. There we go. So we take off, get out of the way because there's our arrivals and whatnot, and then uh, head on our way. That gives us a pretty good, almost direct route. All right. I like that one. Okay, so go back to our map view here. If my mouse would cooperate. Get rid of that. That looks good for now. Um, we are fueled. What's our altitude going to be? Let's, uh, let's go up to 30. We'll say 32,000. We don't need to go up too high. 32,000 on our altitude. So let's jump back in here. Let's uh, Oh, where do I want to go here? route. Okay, now we can go in here and start putting in some numbers for our performance. We'll just grab our defaults here, reserve fuel. 
Uh, should have plenty. We got 30,000 on board. Uh, cruise altitude is going to be where did I say 320. Cost index, uh, whatever. We'll just put in 25. All right, takeoff flaps five. CG get our trim here 4.2 so we'll uh, we'll remember that and we'll enter that in as soon as we get our hydraulics working acknowledge all of our V speeds 135 take a note of that and we are done that's it hop over the legs get out of that all right let's get our uh, APU fired up here so uh, before I forget 135 yep we've got our speed there we'll add a We'll add a few knots to that, so we'll go about uh, 140. All right, and we are ready to get fired up here, so let's get our uh, one fuel pump on. We'll get our APU fired up. Once that's running and we're switched over, we'll get rid of the, uh, the GPU that's sitting outside. And while we wait for that, we can get our uh, pressurization and AC all set up. Going to turn all these to auto. Uh, get our recirculation fans going. Trim air. And we'll put this to auto right now. Left and right packs. Get our cross speed going. Okay, it looks like the APU is fired up. Let's go ahead and switch over to APU power. And get our APU bleed engaged. Right, we'll get off of ground power. Bring this back up, go over to our ground, get rid of our GPU, uh, double check everything is closed up. We're all ready to take off, or at least we're ready to get fired up here. Uh, so since we are starting out on the ramp, we're not going to be uh, you know, doing any pushbacks or anything like that. Uh, and we can just start up as we are right here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's get all of our fuel on. Do we have any fuel in the center tank? No, we don't, so we'll just uh, we'll leave that off. That's the center pumps right there. Get our yaw dampeners on. Click on. Uh, get our hydraulic pumps on. We'll turn them on. We're basically just going to hit everything here, even though the engines are not yet started up. We're going to be doing that next. And before we forget, let's put our trim tab is 4.2 and a little nose down is not, uh, not too bad in this 757 I recall. Alright, we're ready to fire up the uh, engine so let's go ahead and put our packs to off. We'll start up engine number two. Go over to ground. Come down here, watch it spool up. All right, right about 18 or so. Introduce fuel, get that engine started up. And while that happens, let me just double check my uh, sound levels here again. All right, that looks good. Master volume, cockpit. Put that up a little bit so we can hear the engines coming up. All right, engine uh, number two is on. Let's go ahead and throw engine number one over to ground. Yeah, I'm looking for it to start spooling up. There's 18. And while that engine fires up, let's get this out of the way. Uh, get our transponder 
over to TARA. Let's uh, set up a few things here the way I like it. Uh, we've got some weather, so we'll go ahead and put on the weather radar. Shouldn't have too much, but uh, there's a, little, a few thunderstorms popping up. Get our flight director on. Auto throttle armed. Second flight director on. And let's double check everything here. So we got our altitude set. We've got our uh, airspeed set plus five. We're going to go ahead at uh, LNAV and VNAV. Make sure they engage. And as far as radios, we'll just hit auto. Not that we're going to be doing radios, but it'll be nice because it'll tune our uh, tune our BORs and stuff like that for us. Alrighty, so the engines are fired up. Let's get uh, let's get the generators on. Alright, now let's come down and let's just make sure we got everything set. So yaw dampeners are on, hydraulics are all on, uh, that's on auto, right, APU power can now come off, APU can come off. We can put our uh, starters to continuous for our takeoff. No need for icing, we've got all our lights on for uh, what we need right now. We'll get our uh, window heat on. Get our smoking and seatbelt signs on. Uh, altitude at LAX is pretty low. I don't know offhand, but uh, I think it, I think 100 feet will do us. 110, good enough. Uh, pressurization will go to auto one, and equipment cooling will turn that on. I uh, don't need any of the lights here. All right, and let's go put our packs back on, left and right. It's a little bit easier if I take a look at it this way. We'll get our engine bleeds on, our APU bleed off. All right, I think we're set on the top panel. Parking brake and auto gen, uh, there we go. That uh, little warning and actuator just went off. And the final thing I want to do here is turn up our panel backlighting, turn that up, uh, and turn up our panel lights here just a bit. Makes for some nice coloring. Alright, I think we're ready to taxi. Let's take a look around here. Those three people make a racket back there. All right, parking brake off. Give it a little power. leaving the uh, Arizona Air National Guard ramp behind. And what did I say for takeoff on our runway? 25 left, I think it was. So uh, that is our short runway right over here by us. I'm gonna turn my local volume down here a little bit. Go flaps five and auto braking to RTO. Wait, 
to see our uh, leading edge slats come down. There they go. We're going to power back here. Let us coast. Let's get ready for an immediate departure. Put our strobes on and our landing lights on. Alright, so keep the volume up on the uh, sim for the departure and then uh, as soon as we get up in the air there we'll turn that down a little bit. And uh, we'll take off right from over here. We don't have to go all the way to the end. We're actually very light here with only three passengers on board. Two, five, left. Otherwise, I'd cross over here and then uh, come back to the very end of the runway. Make a hard turn here. On runway, two, five, left. Bring the power up just a little bit and then immediately hit our uh, takeoff power. a little bit. And come over here and hit our autopilot, see what happens. Okay, we'll get the remainder of our flaps up. Get our gear to off. Take a look over here at Phoenix. the water right here. Looks like it's a little hokey. There we go. Much more realistic. You can actually put some waves in it too. Helps with a little bit of reflection there. We'll leave that on. What the heck. Alright, let's get back in the cockpit here as we do our climb out. And let's take a look at our progress here. So, we're going to be climbing out to 7,400 over at Davies right here. progress over here it's uh, currently 2124 will be at LAX at uh, 2209 so just a quick hop here of the 35 40 minutes total and zoom this out just a little bit Uh, let's try some music here.
we never did get our altimeter setting. That's the one thing I forgot to do. But uh, well, we're at 2992, so we'll just leave it there. Watch the wing view here as uh, we climb out through the clouds here. Uh, we level off a little bit. Hazy day in Phoenix. They're getting some uh, monsoon rain showers, thunderstorms popping up as usual in the summertime there. angled clouds really make it look like we're climbing out steep or actually not that the clouds themselves are sort of angled down see horizon is a little bit more uh, truer to our angle all right leaving the uh, phoenix valley here behind covered in clouds it should be an uneventful a weather-wise flight into LAX here, so let's uh, let's just see where we are. What do we have? 14,000, almost 15,000 feet. Double check everything here. Check our pressurization. This look good. Nothing amiss that I can uh, see. So heading for 29 palms and flight level is 320. So since the altimeter is already set, 2992, let's make sure it's dropped over on the other side also. I'm going to go ahead and take a water break here, grab a fresh bottle of water. And uh, I'll let you enjoy some of this Ortho 4XB scenery. I'll leave it right there. Be right back.
Alright guys, I'm back. I actually took a quick pop out in the backyard. I actually live in Southern California, so I was taking a look to see what the weather's like. Got a few thunderstorms. Well, not really thunderstorms, but some decent sized uh, cumulus clouds building up over the mountains. So maybe we'll see that on our, uh, on our way into LA. Uh, 8,000 feet to go here. 9,000 feet, sorry. No, wait, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 8,000 feet. To get up to our uh, cruising altitude at uh, flight level 320. I never get tired of looking at the uh, ortho throughout the southwest here. I live in the southwest, like I said, in California, so used to live in Phoenix also. Fantastic place to uh, live. Here's a little ortho quirkiness. So the ortho, if you don't know, is uh, you know satellite picture. So a satellite flew over, took images, we stitch it all together and stick it into our flight simulator here. Well, they try to eliminate a lot of the cloud areas, but sometimes, like these right here, these are actually the clouds and their shadows when the satellite passed over that weren't eliminated in our process of setting this up. And actually, if you can see the difference right here, uh, this is all ortho right here. This is all default scenery. Um, so there's a square that I'm missing over here. Take a look at it there, you can see. I'll have to uh, fill that one in. But uh, usually the flights that I do, I fly out of, you know, uh, Phoenix, Southern California, Las Vegas, and other points in the west. I'm trying to save a little bit of disk space here, so uh, there's a couple of squares that I'm missing, but for the most part, where I'm flying is all ortho. up our map here. Take a quick look to see where we're at. Yep, just out of Phoenix and heading for the California border. Should be pretty close to our uh, cruise altitude here. And I took the default speed, so let's just see what our uh, cruise speed is. 0.77. Yeah, we'll leave it. It's a short flight, so uh, we really don't need to go any faster than that. And still expecting to get into LAX at 22.10. So that is uh, 35, 36 minutes from now, roundabout. Watch the scenery go by here for a little bit.
see a couple of the different uh, patches of ortho. Probably have two different zoom levels or something like that. Um, and that's why you get a little bit of different coloration like that. Now we're coming up to the uh, Colorado River here. our uh, point of entry into California. We'll see what kind of uh, weather we get coming into LA. Like I said, there's uh, some uh, some clouds forming up over the mountains. I do have my weather radar on here. Let me do a double check just to make sure. Yep, weather. So we're about 80 miles out of uh, 29 Palms. Let's, uh, let's zoom out a little bit here. See where our top of descent is. Should be just beyond it. Yep, there it is. So we head over to 29 Palms. Make a little turn. Start our descent here. And uh, inbound to LAX. There's Palm Springs right there. Alright, and if we take a look at this see what our altitudes are going to be. So we're going to be going all the way down to uh, 1900 feet at uh, Lima. 700 feet. So actually I'm just going to set 700 feet for our altitude. Since we don't have any uh, ATC to deal with and altitude restrictions will get taken care of. It's going to hit 700 right here. All the way down. Starting to see the uh, Sultan Sea over there. It's in the uh, Southern California desert, just south of uh, Palm Springs. Officially now, I think in California, as we uh, go past the Colorado River down below us.
getting a little tired of this tune. It sounds like a couple of the other ones I've got. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. So we do have a nice uh, tailwind here, 17, 18 knots. Looks like we will hit some of this uh, clouds coming up ahead of us. Nothing big. I said I kind of looked out my backyard here, uh, which faces to the east. So I'm looking at the mountains out here. And uh, I could see there were some uh, clouds building up through that area. Starting to get a little bumpy. Heading for those uh, clouds coming over the uh, coming over the mountains. And there's the Salton Sea, like I said, Coachella Valley, uh, right in front of it, over here. If you're into the music scene, you've probably heard of Coachella before. It's, it's right over here. The winds are kind of popping around a little bit now. We. Uh, 16, 15 knots here. It's a little bit of light chop.
So I took a quick look and uh, checked our altimeter over at LAX is 2995, so we'll get ready to set that once we get a little bit closer here. We're going to make our turn here, I think, shortly. Yeah, that is, <laughs> there it goes, right on cue. You can see uh, Mount San Jacinto right there. Uh, Palm Springs is just down below it here. That's where the tram runs up to the uh, top of the mountain here. And if I look out my backyard, I can actually see the very top of that mountain off in the distance. So, uh, like I was saying earlier, just taking a look at the, uh, the weather observation at LAX currently is winds 260 at 12, so that's good. Pretty much a headwind for our uh, arrival. At, at least 10 miles visibility. View at 1,100, scattered at 9,000, scattered at 20,000. Should be a nice, uh, nice arrival into LAX here. You can see Palm Springs down below us here. Let's see if we can spot the airport. Uh, it always hides. The airport likes to hide on me here. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Alright, uh, let's see, airport, airport, where are you? <laughs> it's not that far. There it is, right in front of us. The airport there, just the coloring on the uh, ortho tends to make it blend right in. Right there. Alright, Banning Pass. And then uh, LA up ahead. Should be coming up to our uh, top of descent here. And yep, we've already hit it. Started on our way down. Oop, there's those clouds. Just got an update. I told you there were clouds over the mountains, I swear. <laughs> I was not lying. Coachella Valley with a square missing. Something like that. I'm gonna double check my ortho there. All 
right, so since we have started our descent, let's go ahead and put our strobes on. You know, we never put our engines off of uh, continuous, so I would just leave them there for now. Normally just put them to auto uh, once we've uh, climbed out and are at our cruise altitude. So, so far, uh, feeling comfortable in the uh, 757 here. It's been a little while since I've flown it. I've done maybe like three or four flights. Before this one, this uh, short flights, you know, even just not even full flights, just starting it up and getting off the ground and everything, just to get myself familiar with everything again. I bought this uh, and uh, flew it a little bit and <laughs> then kind of got tied up with the uh, Zebo 737 and the uh, the Ultimate 737-900. But I thought I'd jump into the 75 again here. So we're turning on our course here. Unfortunately, the clouds here until we get down below it. Not much to see. But uh, let's see what the observation had again. Uh, 20,000 scattered and then 9,000. So we should be through this layer if it's uh, around about the same altitude. Uh, once we get below, somewhere below 20,000. All right, since I know we don't have any weather other than just the uh, few clouds that I'm going to turn off the weather radar. I like to keep my uh, screen here, my display unit, as clean as possible. So, we got arrived. Turtle uh, Paradise VOR. I think that's the DDC. Cactus. We just got some weird. Oh, well, that's at or above, I see. Okay, so 15,000. Bassett Downey Lima Lado. Down we go. Alright, that looks good. Check our progress here. LAX 2211. So just another about uh, 15 minutes or so. We should be on the ground. Looks like we're just getting to the tops of these clouds. I can tell because my frame rate's going down. Time for a new graphics card. I'm actually running this on a uh, GTX 970, so uh, I think it's a four gig card, overclocked, but it's showing its age. I think that'll be the next uh, upgrade on the uh, PC here.
that's about the least frame uh, intensive view I think I got right here. <laughs> so if we go out this way, it's not too bad too. Sometimes it takes a little while for the clouds to load. Our altitude here 20, 22,000. Should be getting into this uh, cloud deck here shortly. out the right hand side here. Okay, heading for uh, Riverside. <coughs> Excuse me, that's uh, actually the RIBs, that's actually March Air Reserve Base. Riverside, California. Skimming the tops of the clouds here. View, but let, uh, let's get uh, settled in here for the approach. We are 65 miles out. From uh, LAX. I think that's what it is, right? This ETA. Yep. Cool. Yep, 65, now 64 miles out. Pop through a couple of these layers. Mm -hmm. 
getting a little view down there of uh, Riverside County. Alrighty, so we're below 18,000 here. Let's go ahead and set our altimeter. And in real world, it was uh, 2995 over at LAX. Let's transfer that over. Do the same here on our backup. Got a nice view of uh, Corona and Riverside up ahead of us. Or, well, I think Riverside's down below us and uh, Corona up ahead. I told you I could see clouds out the back of my house, looking uh, east. It's like uh, Lake Elsinore, right over here. Nice view popping out of the clouds there. So we got Corona, California, right down below us here. And then we go into, what is it, Yorba Linda, Anaheim Hills, and Anaheim Disneyland up ahead over here. Orange County off to the side here. Or off to the uh, left. And we got some of those low clouds, little marine layer hanging out uh, way down here. Not this stuff here, all the way down at the bottom there. That's that uh, lower scattered layer. There we go, clearing out some of that haze. Let's see all the way to Long Beach. And, like I said, Orange County out here. our churn. This is uh, Ontario Airport. Might fly into there. 
It's got some decent scenery on there. John Wayne Airport right over here. You can see it right there. There's Newport Beach. Hold in right over here and then start her descent down to Bassett. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the, uh, the sim, the engine noise here our approach as we start our final descent into Los Angeles. Haze again. Let's get uh, set up for our arrival here. We'll go uh, auto braking two. About 29 miles out of uh, LAX right now. Still at uh, 13,000 feet. Probably because I eliminated a bunch of those. Uh, those waypoints, so we have to use a little bit of spoiler here to get ourselves slowed down. Hazy as we head into LA. sounds up a little bit more. Where are we? All right, starting our final turn.
pause the music here for the arrival. Okay, crossing 10,000 feet, let's go ahead and get our uh, landing lights on. slowed up over here. Speed brakes are out. Got the runway up ahead of us. We're still pretty high though. Ten thousand to nineteen. Yes, yeah, so that's where I screwed up. I think I had all those uh, all those uh, waypoints removable. Now that we got the airport in sight, let's go ahead and uh, let's disengage the autopilot and uh, the auto throttle. I'll take over myself. We'll drop down. Get ourselves down to a decent altitude for an approach here. Get some spoilers up. I have to try uh, try to figure out a better approach there for the uh, arrival procedure. Drop one uh, one notch of flaps there. Speed brakes are up. We'll try to keep ourselves uh, from over speeding too much here. I might just have to do one of those little circular uh, descents here. are heading 250. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to raise the nose a little bit. We'll do a th uh, 180 degree turn here, or 360 degree turn, and let ourselves get dropped down. Whoa, some wind shifts there. jumping around. <laughs> there, and there's 180 degrees roundabout. Keep this descent in. second notch of flaps. Really letting the uh, plane drop down here pretty quick. About the, we hit like 4,000 feet per minute descent there. Back around here. 
can see some of the buildings popping up in uh, downtown LA here as we get another wind shift. All right, one more notch of flaps. As we roll out on our uh, runway heading here. We are taking a two five left. So our landing lights are on. We got uh, what is that, 10, 15 on the flaps. So we're getting bounced around a little bit here. Oxnard information echo. 2100 Zulu weather. Wind 240 at 10. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions. We have Oxnard Atis on our uh, final approach here. Alright, gear coming down. Go to full flaps. turns here just to get ourselves back down on our altitude. Over speeding there a little bit. Again, don't 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 hate on me. I'm a little rusty in the uh, 757. Rates are awful over here. Now I remember why I don't fly into LAX on this uh, graphics card. Okay, gear down, three green, full flaps, landing lights are on. And we're going to go ahead and arm our speed brake. And the 757 just wants to float. It's a hover, it doesn't want to come out of the sky. For about uh, 130, 129, or something like that. On, uh, on 1,000. 
Start bringing the nose up a little bit. There's our uh, approach lights. Too white, too red. Approaching two, five, left. A little cockeyed there. Five hundred. a little bit low. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. bit of a float there. Get the reversers engaged. Alright, stow the reversers and let's go ahead and take this high speed turn off right here. So welcome to LAX, that was an interesting approach. A little rusty in the uh, 757, but that's why I'm flying it. Anyway, guys, thanks for uh, following along here on my uh, little shakedown flight here, familiarization flight. Let's go ahead and just pull it right over here into the uh, Qantas great area. And we will call it a day. This thing doesn't want to stop. There. Got to get used to the brakes on this thing. All right, guys. Well, anyway, thank you very much. Let's see if we ran this guy over over here. Uh, nope. He's out of the way. Super. Welcome to LAX, and uh, hope you enjoyed that flight, including my very interesting approach. Till next time. Take care, bye. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. I do a lot of explain videos, as you can see on my channel. Take a look at some of those. And uh, we'll see if I do a little bit better next time in the uh, 757. Thanks again, guy. Bye.